This video is intended to give an introduction to the IronCAD integration for DDM. It will cover creating a part record, adding it to an assembly scene file, creating a drawing and then releasing the drawing and assembly. Finally it will cover making a change to the assembly and up issuing those changes. So currently I'm in the DDM user interface. I'm going to close this window to return to IronCAD where I have a part record that I'm creating. Just going to make a, a final design change to this as we add a chamfer to each end. And with that complete we're now ready to save this back to DDM. If we have a look in the add-ins menu then we've got an IronCAD PDM integrator ribbon bar here with all of the commands that we need to interact between DDM and IronCAD. And in this case we're going to use the save function. All of these functions can be put on the quick access toolbar just using the right click menu option here. So we're going to use save which will initially make a local copy to my working directory before opening the part properties window where I can assign a part number to this item. In this case I'm using DDM's configurable auto numbering system so you can build your own rules in here. The description has been passed across because it was already defined on the model but we could add other attribute information uh, such as description to comments etc and our own custom attributes if required down here. Once all of that's completed we click on OK to save the model back to DDM and our model is, is created. Now if we close this window and return to DDM then at the top of my recent items we've got the model record that we've created and if we look at the properties of this then we can see the material that it's created from the mass etc who created it and when it was created so what we're going to do now is to assemble this wrist pin into our piston head assembly so if we load that to IronCAD is our piston head assembly currently missing the wrist pin and we're going to load the new part that we've created from DDM so we'll say load subpart find our wrist pin load this into session and if we find this part now we can use IronCAD assembly techniques to put this wrist pin into the assembly so our wrist pin is now assembled we save this back in exactly the same way so we'll update the assembly in DDM and we can see that this is now being saved. Finally we're going to create a drawing of this assembly. So if we just add some views and then for the purposes of this video I won't annotate the drawing but in this case in exactly the same way as before we can save the drawing back to DDM. It will by default take the assembly scene file name and description. That can of course be modified if you need to. And then we complete the save by clicking on OK. Our drawing title block is populated for us. And so if we close these from session, we can return to DDM and we can see the drawing at the top of our list. Now every time we create a drawing, we also store a PDF preview so that people without IronCAD installed can view the drawing. In this case we put a watermark on the drawings to indicate that it's work in progress and shouldn't be used. In the DDM user interface we can start to explore structures as well so if we take a look at this drawing we can see that it has a related assembly and if we look at the assembly we can see the components in the assembly. Looking at that from a different view we can take a look at the assembly and we can understand and see that there is a related drawing and we can also look at where used information so here we can see that this is used on a higher level assembly which is our complete um, piston assembly. So with our design complete if I just refresh this, what we're going to do is to release this drawing. 
So if we right click on the drawing or the assembly and select to change the state, if we expand all, then we can see the full structure of this assembly and we can select the items that we need to uh, release. So we're going to take the assembly in the assembly drawing and we're going to take the wrist pin that we've also created. We're just going to add some notes to our release manager and in this case we're adding first release for production. So with those complete we set the state to released and then click on OK. And we can see our assembly is now released. So we're going to now make a, a change to this assembly to, to look at how we manage uh, revisions within DDM. So I'm going to open the assembly again. What we're going to do is make a change to the wrist pin itself. So if I open this up, and then we're going to put a hole down the center of the wrist pin. So our wrist pin is modified. And remember this is a released component. So if we look at the properties, we can see that this is released, which means we don't have modification rights on it. If I try and save it, we'll get a message that this is modified, but we're unable to save it. So what we're going to do in this case is to um, use the save as function to create a copy of this component. If there are related drawings, then they will be pulled into session and updated at the same time. In this case, there aren't any related drawings. So we're going to assign this a new number and we'll make a, a change to the description so that we know that this is a different component. And then we can complete this by clicking on OK and our new component is stored back to DDM. If we close this window and return to the assembly, you'll see that we've now got the modified wrist pin in our assembly. And so what we want to do is to create a new issue of this assembly with the modified wrist pin. So again, I'm going to load the related drawing into session. We can update the views. So it's now got the new component in and this this time we're going to use save new issue to create a new issue of this assembly. So we take the drawing and the assembly, move them to the next issue, and then we can fill in our change reason information. So if you use uh, change numbers, then we can fill this in here. And on the description, we can add the description of the change. So in this case, wrist pin replaced click on OK and OK again then our drawing is updated we've now got issue 2 of the drawing in session which we can see down here and also our revision history has been updated on the drawing for us so our changes are complete and we're going to return to DDM So if we have a look in DDM, we can see this is the new issue of the assembly at a work in progress state. The old issue is still available for people, but it's marked as under review, indicating that there is a change taking place on this released assembly. So what I'm going to take a look at now is the bill of materials editor in DDM. So if I right click on this assembly and look at the bill of materials, then here we can see the bill of materials of this assembly with the correct quantities of each item, so two piston rings, etc. <coughs> there are a number of things that we can do in this environment. We can, uh, if we want, sometimes we have things that we model in the CAD environment that we don't want on our bill of materials and these can be uh, hidden. We can modify quantities, etc. We can reorder this by assigning position numbers. So if I say auto number, we can go up in increments of 10. But what I'm going to do now is to add something that I haven't modeled in the CAD environment. In this case, it's going to be a lubricant, but sometimes we need to add tape, lubricant, adhesive, packaging instructions, etc., for our bill of materials. So I'm just going to minimize this window, and I'm going to take a look in my category browser 
under my part records to find existing lubricants that we already have adopted. And in this case, we're going to use this lubricant. Now again, if we look at the structure of this under relations, we can see that there is a related document, which in this case is the data sheet for the lubricant, so I understand the properties before I use it in my bill of materials. So I can either control C to take a copy of this or select copy reference, return to the bill of materials, and I can control V to paste or paste this new item into the bill of materials. So we'll give it a number. Now, because this wasn't modeled in the CAD environment, there is no quantity. So we're going to add a quantity here. And this is 10 milliliters. And we can also, if we want, apply notes. So whatever that may be. OK. So if we apply that changes, now this information can either be viewed as a report, so we can use the print menu, or we can save it as a CSV file for importing into an ERP or an MRP system. And that can also take place electronically using the built-in Enterprise Update Manager from DDM, which can trigger an export of the bill of materials when assemblies are released. So our bill of materials is complete. We're going to close this window. And if we go back to my recent items, here's my piston head assembly. And I should now see the lubricant in the structure for this um, assembly. So we're going to complete this by releasing the drawing. So if we go to change state again, expand all. So again, we'll take the new components and we will set the state to released. As we do that, you can see that the old issue of the models and drawings are now marked as superseded, indicating that there is a later released issue of this available. So we have all of the history, but we also have an indication that these items are superseded. Again, we look at the drawing. So if we have a look at the PDF preview of the drawing, you can see the watermark is updated to indicate that this is the released copy of the drawing. Final thing that we're going to take a look at is if we have a look at the bill of materials for this released assembly, then in the bill of materials editor window, we can do a bomb compare. So we can see the changes or the differences between issue one and issue two of this assembly. So we can see the things that have been added, things that have been removed, and any changes in quantities, etc. So this video uh, gives an overview of the IronCAD integration for DDM, showing how to create parts, drawings, and assemblies, how to release information, edit bills and materials, and then up-issue any changes to modified models and drawings.